Hi everybody, uh, Dr. Eileen O'Connor, and I'm going to go over a couple of things that you need to do this first week of the course, and also I uh, wanted to say hello. Uh, be sure to read all the materials, there's lots of procedural stuff. But keep in mind that the way the course runs, and let me move myself out of the way, is you're going to have weekly assignments. Please keep up with them, that's the most critical thing in terms of your uh, enjoying your experience. Also, have a good computer. Uh, I recommend as many displays as possible, as large a display. I don't like laptops myself for getting through a lot of the work. It makes it harder to work, so be, be careful there. But um, also pay attention to due dates. Uh, every week you should be putting in some significant contribution as you are prompted. You'll also notice that I use discussion boards sometimes in ways that might differ from other faculty. Uh, what I require in many of the things is that you develop your post and then you post it, and later you come back and respond to at least two colleagues. Now, the reason I do that is I want your original voice. I don't want you to feel you have to follow everybody else. I often deliberately don't jump in in these discussion boards with direct comments because I want you to communicate with one another, and once the instructor jumps in, people tend to stop commenting. So you're going to find a number of these. What I warn you is don't forget to come back and respond to at least two colleagues. That's part of the grade, and it's there because you're going to learn tremendously from one another. The more that you respond to, the better. Now, in this first week, you're going to do some startup things. One of them is to really start thinking and brainstorming together about an uh, interesting project that you're going to create. In this course, uh, the first, the, what, this particular course in the STEM certificate, you give given opportunities to develop actual skills with the new technology that you might want to learn. So you're going to have the academic piece, you're going to be developing lessons and units, but you're going to have some extra time for engaging yourself in a technology that might be new to you. And that's all structured into the course. You're going to create an avatar, and because we're going to meet in virtual reality, I'll show you that in a moment, but we're going to have some meetings there, uh, a couple over the semester. I also want to let you know that we're having a residency. The residency, and let me move myself out of the way, is something we've begun. Uh, this will be our second annual residency, and it will be October 12th, which is a Saturday. But it'll be a chance to meet with faculty and other colleagues beyond this one course. And there's going to be a large focus on STEM. There's going to be more things about augmented reality. It's going to be an opportunity to hear some of the faculty um, work, but also to experience some of these realities. Now, it's not per se a requirement in this course, but it, if you want to go for that day, it's from 9.30 to 3. I'll be sending out an invite list that you can uh, suggest whether you want to go. Um, we'll work it into the course. I do see it's a really good chance to immerse yourself in some of the new STEM tools that are out there. I didn't want to make it an re absolute requirement in this course, but please let me know if you have an interest there, and I will be notifying you about that during the semester. So you're going to be working on developing your own tech skills and then putting it within the context of creating a rich interdisciplinary project that might in integrate math, social studies, along with science, technology. And uh, for example, I'm just showing you a virtual reality space. And this one happens to be uh, a walled city. If you pull the camera back, you'd see. And there's fortifications here, how they used to use archery as a way of dealing with invading groups. So there's science there, there's physics, there's math, there's technology. So uh, the VR spaces can be very good context. So I'm hoping you can maybe join us for that virtual reality day. And I think it'll be uh, an interesting learning experience. It's going to be fun too. So we'll see if you can make it to that. But if not, I do look forward to seeing you in the course and having you develop a STEM project that really suits your professional needs and serves as a model to other projects that you might develop in the future. Take care.